Well, Matt, that was uh, quite an astonishing game, wasn't it? It was. It was. It was tough to watch at times, but also so pleasing to come out on top. Um, a real good game of football in terms of the, the attacking football on show. I've got to question some of the, the defensive side of it. Um, we scored three really good goals, and you, you score three really good goals away from home, you expect it to be a bit more comfortable than it was. You come from behind twice, which shows the character in the group. Um, but I, I felt we had that attacking threat after the first 15 minutes and we looked like, not scoring at will, but we looked like we could create opportunities and on a regular basis. We had to keep it tight at the back. So disappointing just to concede after, straight after half time. It really was disappointing, having given them a little bit about the, the, the amount of chances Oldham got in the first half. But then, like I said, the, the guts and the character and for the last half an hour we were the better team. Um, still some questionable penalty appeals from the opposition, which you know I've spoken in the past about we've not had too much luck recently. And, we had a bit of luck last weekend and maybe it's just started to turn in our favour. Yeah, the, the goal last week was obviously a scorcher from distance. Yep. This week it was all about the build-up play. I mean, that second goal, there was some terrific movement in there. Definitely. <laughs> it sounded like a broken record. I've said it all the season, we've got good attacking players. Um, we, we felt there was space in front and, and down the sides of, of Oldham today. Um, and we just needed to get our good players on the ball in those areas and then we would create. Um, and and Jaden was in the right place on all three occasions to finish him off. So I'm delighted he's got his hat-trick, but it, it was a real team performance today. And I'll be honest with you, we got Daro, Shea and Archie Collins, two 19-year-olds, one at centre-half and one at centre-mid. Um, and that was a tough physical encounter. And, and they've learnt a lot again today, and they'll be better for it again. I said it last week after crew. So we're building. We're a building team. We're, we're a new team. Still a long way to go. I've still got to ask more from the group, certainly defensively. We can't keep giving what I feel are cheap goals away. Because um, I say every week how hard we have to work to, to score, um, but that was just a, a reward, hopefully, for those fans for sticking through the last sort of six to eight weeks away from home. Um, they've come a long way today, and hopefully, it's a, an early Christmas present. Yeah, in terms of the tactics today, it set off what looked like a, a four-four-two, but then you, well, like you changed it a couple of times as well. Yeah, we were under severe pressure to start with, um, and we went one one nil down early, and I didn't want to go two nil down in that first half. Um, so we just put Lee on the left and almost blocked an extra body in midfield to to get bodies closer to our centre halves and our fullbacks were having a, a difficult time, certainly in that first half. Full credit to Oldham, and they got some good players. The lads Surridge looked a real handful in that game today. Um, so we did that to start with, and then you, you put new plans in place at half time, and then you can see straight away. So it's you got to change again, and I felt we altered it pretty well. We got Holmes in space, um, not so much in wide areas, but also central today. And he really hurt the opposition. And look, Chio's pace at the end also gave us an outlet. But then once we conceded the second, we had a, a real desire not to concede a third. Bodies on the line, uh, bodies in the way of balls, and, and in the right position at the right time. So, like I say, still a lot of work to do to, to improve this team. Um, but we showed today that the quality we've gotten. I think we had a bit more confidence on the back of last week in terms of shifting the ball. And if we get the ball in the final third on a regular basis, then we're going to create chances. You feel that's now a, 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 a corner turned, perhaps from a little bit of that? Possibly, if football changes so quickly. You know, even in the, in the running results we had, we felt on a couple of occasions we were close to picking up maximum points. You go on a, a run at any stage of the season and you all of a sudden you bounce up the league table. We didn't, we didn't look too much into the, the, the poor runner forms. We were affected by injuries and illness at times. And, and also form plays a part. And I said last week how the, the, the win against Crew was almost a confidence booster. Like I say, we, on a difficult pitch and difficult conditions, again, we play some excellent football. And we, we've got that in, a, in our locker, so to sort of say. Um, but I still wanted the def defensive side of things to be tighter. I'm an old school centre half at, at heart, so I want clean sheets. I know if we're going to be successful, we've got to build our performances on clean sheets. But credit to Oldham. They, they asked us to questions today. And, um, look, I'm just delighted to come away with three points. And finally, from me, I have to ask you this because with Jaden scoring a hat trick today, yeah. that's obviously going to get noticed. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, look, his hat trick was a reward for his, his work rate again. He led the line so well. Um, at times, he w there was not many of our players close to him. He held the ball up. He won a lot of aerial challenges against two good, experienced centre halves. Certainly, the lad Clarks played a lot of football, and he's a handful. We got more quality into him, and we, like I said, if we build a bit more possession in the final third, it, it might result in a cross. And there's no one better in, in lower league football than Jaden at putting crosses in. And he showed that today. Look, what happens in January sometimes it's, it's out of your hands as a manager, but. You know, we've got to make the most of, of Jaden whilst he's here and, and full credit to him, his, his attitude and the way he trains, people don't see it, people only see the, the end product on a Saturday, the way he trains is, is testament to the lad, so full, full credit to him and, and the rest of the group today and, and even the, the subs who didn't get on, it was a, probably a frustrating game because I'm, I'm looking at changes at 1-0 one, one down and 2-1 down and all of a sudden we're 3-2 up and then you're looking at slightly different changes, I will need those players in the next three weeks and we'll need them for the next six months without a shadow of a doubt, we've got three tough fixtures coming up with, with two home games but we go on the back of two two good victories and hopefully like a bit of confidence, a bit more belief and like I say I'm going to keep improving the quality as best I can.